Yo! Video games. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. Ha 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 ha. Pure Samurai. Yeah, I know. I'm looking forward to Robin Edward, but I, I mean, I, Robin's not in the beta, so, and he, he could, he could not be fun. Like, there is a chance that Robin might not be fun, and he could just be a straight keep away character. Like, I was, I was kind of compelled to play Deadshot, and they showed more of Deadshot. It's like the most boring, just pew 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 from distance, pew 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 pew. pew. And then the stuff they showed in the video was him doing kind of cool kick combos, and I'm pretty sure those are those are ability locks. Oh. So they're not default things you would normally get. So I'm like, well, so okay, is, I'm good with that shot. No thanks. Is the reason why some of the abilities are locked to gears because they use the same moves? Like, uh, you know, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This costume Hadouken does this, but it does something else on Absolutely. this costume. Absolutely, yeah. How well, do you solve that for a fucking like competitive level? Though, here's the thing. Uh, so some things will. It's not really costume. They're not locked to costumes. They're locked to ability sets. Like your character gets two slots for abilities, which okay. are just special moves. Okay. And some take one spot and one spot, and others take two spots. Like I think Superman's super changes the way he so you activates can use the super. certain ability. The abilities are usable with any costume. With any costume. Okay. They, they don't. They don't get matched to costumes at all. So so it's basically like customized. Yes. With like your move. It's customized. like Smash. Yeah, when it's like custom. And that's and essentially how useless customs end up being because they're not. And nobody fucking nobody, nobody uses fucking them. Uses and that's what's and that's un, that's unfortunate because they're completely different yeah. moves and which, they're kind of they which, can which they I kind of cool. feel is a shame sometimes because I'm like. Yeah, that's their way of variations, but the problem is, is that in ranked, when you eventually play people online in a ranked match and not player matches, that's all going to go away, because that stuff is attached to your character custom loadout, and the ranked stuff just eliminates all the stats and all the stuff in the custom loadout, except for visual ex- are like some visuals. Bi- are some abilities just way better than others? Like that's Probably. I mean, I, it's hard to say, because, I mean, so many people I play online... This sounds like a WB off. kind of decision. And it's, it's really weird, because I want them... I, I really hope that they, they leave them on because if some are better than others, then fine. That's fine. You're just going to get used to the character having that move. You know, it's just it's just like the variation system. There was obviously variations that were better than the other yeah. ones because the variation system, all it really did was take their existing move set and give them some different special moves. I so, really hope with, with Smash Switch that that uh, we see them make custom moves for, like, Cloud and Bayonetta and Ryu and shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with that shit. Especially on uh, on Smash Switch, because I feel they need to do more than just a coat of paint. Here's some new tracks. No new competitive tracks, you know, like they did with Mario Kart. I'm like, Mario Kart bugs me. But they're charging sixty dollars. Sixty dollars for what is for battle mode? Is like it's like a ten dollar DLC. Did you play Ninja Gaiden three? I played two. Okay, let's see what three is like. And I, I never played these games before. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, MKX had three variations per character. It absolutely can work. They're like completely different character types. Though. Yeah, and they had actually changed the character mostly. So it's it's even it's even what they're doing in Injustice 2 is kind of a less not even as much as MKX for for the most part. So I don't know. I'm 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 gonna hope I'm gonna make a video and I really hope. I really hope. See, look at this stuff. Here you go. See this shit? Let's go. So this is this part two or part? This is part three. Oh, okay. Which one are you good at? That was part one. <laughs> That's it? Yep. That's it. I don't remember the other two. I only played them like once. Part one I played over and over and over again. And then part two and three I played like once or twice. We'll play Ninja Gaiden 2 after this. Don't worry, guys. Benny! No. And Benny's like, okay, you're fucking guys. Ha 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 No one who has seen what's going Terry, on Terry, thank you, dude. Live to tell about it. It's like this music. Oh my god! It's like they did the Transformers slash uh, fucking um, uh, Fast and Furious thing, where they make the good guy the bad guy all of a sudden. Like, Killed yeah. on mission, Cardinal. Irene's dead in part three. Eh, eh. Is she dead, dead, or like? Oh, of course, not. Of course yeah. she's not. Dead. <laughs> no. She dies at the right at the beginning. She's gonna come back. Oh, I didn't know if it was like yeah, Double yeah, Dragon yeah. Two, where like the opening of the game is them shooting. Hiya, Bursa for Smash. Thank you, dude. That would be cool. I like that. Beautiful Kotaku. If you die once, I will judge you. Yep, yep. There you go. That's story of my life. Did you know that in Double Dragon 2? Yeah, she died, she died. The, the opening of Double Dragon 2 is like Marion standing outside their garage and these guys come up and just light her the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little brutal. brutal. It's a little fucking brutal. Uh, like, what the f- what the fuck? Yeah. The Dragnet? 
See, I heard Double Dragon 4, which came out recently, by the way, by Arc System. It's super fucking easy. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just not really compelled to play that game at all. Just use don't like beat em ups, do you? No, I like good beat em ups, and it just oh. looks like the same thing as the old ones. Yeah, and well, that's what I hear it is. It's actually yeah. everyone, even big Double Dragon fans, are like, it's not that good. Yo, it was like, good. Well, okay. You know, it was good. Double Dragon Neon. Neon. Double Dragon Neon is the best Double Dragon game. <laughs> it, it fully embraced its bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> shit, dude. Damn, this looks like Batman NES. Like, it holy really shit. It does. This looks just like Batman NES. God, I want to I wanna restart so bad right now. What? Uh, the jump button is A. It's AB, there's no... That's no. disgusting. That's Nintendo it. style. It's AB. It's Nintendo style. Yeah. You're playing an NES game. It should be YB, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, sure, but it, it's, it's an NES game. It's, it's hurting my soul. I can't do it. Okay. It does look better. Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Look at that Bloodborne shit Whoa, in there. Ah. fuck. I don't think there's any way to change it. There were no options. See, if you don't get, like, you don't get, like, experience for killing you guys, just let them run away. Nah, fuck that. Kill everything. This looks a lot like a Sunsoft game. Yeah, it does. Play Batman Nest next stream? I don't know if we have it. We, there, there is some sick-ass hacks that came out. Sick-ass hacks that came out for the Nintendo... Um, classic, yeah. Yeah, the Nintendo Classic, where you can get, like, the entire fucking library on it. Uh, I have to look into it. Hey, I have a question for you, Max. Uh, your Switch is online order. What does that mean you get it? I don't know. I haven't like, looked into it because I care so little. I know, I know, but I'm like, in general, like... I'll let you know, sometimes I'll let you know ahead of time when we get Like, you're not gonna get it before that, the Friday of release, no, are you? No, no. Well, I'll have to get it on the Friday or or a couple days after. Okay, well, yeah. I was just wondering for, for Zelda. Yeah. Um... You'll probably just want to get the Wii U version early yeah, on. Yeah, I have it pre-ordered. They have, they'll have like a midnight launch, or maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, yeah, a 9 p.m. launch. <laughs> um, See, he was pretty good at this. Holy shit! So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do like a 12-hour Zelda Breath of the Wild stream. 12 okay. hour. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no, 12 to 12. Or maybe one to one. You saw that? Uh, they actually regenerate even more if you like go yeah, back no. down and go back up. <laughs> Get gooey, thank you, dude. Come on, dude. Music sucks! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys just want us to go play one? The music is pretty goddamn awful. Uh, actually, I'm gonna see. This is kicking ass. Let's just listen to it. Evil Coffee Pot, thank you, dude. Talk to us for Evil Coffee Pot. And it's crazy because part one, the, the the one in part one, music in part one was so goddamn good. Yeah, I know. Weird, I... You're doing actually really good, though, which is funny. Oh, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked you're doing good. <laughs> it's like it's Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> yeah, looks like hey, Dragonov! Hey, Dragonov, welcome Brand back, dude. dude. Talk to us for Dragonov. Did they give you a beep when you hit him? Nah. Oh, oh, oh. No, you're hitting him. Just got no hit spark or anything. Yeah, that was true in two as well. Potato! All oh, new dudes out the potato. ass! Potato! Hey, thank you, potato. Come boil them, mash them in a stew. Come boil them, mash them in a stew. Come boil them, mash them in a stew. Wah! Wah! Now, this to me is Ninja Guy Dan. All the yeah. new stuff What's to me. Tetris Precious! Baka Blue, like welcome back, dude. Ninja Guy Dan. Baka Blue. Baka Blue. This isn't an ordinary lab, is it? I love this 80s, 90s s anime style. It looks so good. Dude. Anime. Jonas, that's also a brand new dude. Tacos for Jonas. Holy shit. What's that? What's precious? Thanks, Jonas. What's that? Huh? That's not right. That thing's fucked up. Hold on a sec. Now, if any of you out there have played Gogo 13, this is like very. Let me repeat this. Hold on. I am boots up for Smash. Never fucking happening. I fixed it. It could happen. I fixed it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Luna's, it's not that Luna far. Luna is doing a lot better. We still have to take her into the doctor on Monday. I guess it's not that impossible. They've been buddy buddy lately. Te Team Ninja is also fucking killing it, dude. Like, yeah. everything they're making is really good. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm actually. They, no shit. Neo makes me really proud of Team Ninja because they are. They've proven they don't need Itagaki to make awesome games, and everyone was kind of worried about that because after, after he left, like, everything was kind of going to hell. Um, but in all honesty, I think Dead or Alive 5 is a better Dead or Alive than all the other ones. Hey, you, know, you know there's like a thousand some dollars worth of DLC for that game? Oh yeah. 
Some stupid ridiculous. Yeah. There's also like an insane amount of costumes. Mari Marcinio. Marcinio, thank you, dude. Mar that game literally made all of its revenue through its crazy costume DLC. You know they offer and they offer like four characters for free. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Although that's the thing. You is can that like download the four basic bitches. A lot of people for free. would say like, oh, Dead or Alive Five bitches. is dead. And sure, yeah, it might be dead competitively, but that game actually did really good sales wise because they did a free to play model. And a ton of people bought the DLC or downloaded it and bought individual characters and stuff like yeah. that. So DOA 5 actually it, ended up doing pretty good. Well, at least they like let you, for the most part, know what you want. Like, hey, I really want this costume. Well, here is this costume. Yeah. Here's what you gotta pay for it. Yeah. And then you decide what it is. If you, if you think that's worth it. It's, it's, it's like, holy shit, that is a ridiculous amount of DLC money, but at the same time, at least it's... At least they're upfront about it. Yeah, like, and, and no shit. Like, you might say, $1,000 with DLC, this is insane. But if you look at how many costumes there are, like, and if you compared that to Street Fighter V for the amount of costumes you got, yeah. you would be paying probably two to three times as much money in SF5 for the equal amount of costume content. Yeah. You know, and post game content, because they didn't make those costumes before the game was out, I'm pretty well, sure. I think there is still a, a PC version of 5. Right? Yes, no, there is. It's based on that's the where, That's where you get the DLC yeah. is like $1,000. It's, it's, it's based on the PS3 code, yeah. not, not the PS4. That's why a lot of people say the PS4 version is the best one. <laughs> yeah, which is. Poor shit, and it's only because they're fucking paranoid and shit. Yeah, I'm a mods. Just stupid. They should. They, you gotta embrace mods. You and, gotta and embrace just, your mods. In just under a month, uh, Marvel's about to come out on PC, and I can't wait. I the, really hope someone makes it. Like we will make it happen, Simmons. We'll mod in Doom's voice and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not that, no. Kev Gooey. Kev Gooey. Hey, five yeah. five. I'm talking about. I, I really hope that some team goes in and and. and Fixes the game. Oh yeah, you mean, re, you mean you mean rebalances it? Yeah, that Project could, M's it. Like it does happen. something serious to, to make the game. In all honesty, it is it is on PC and it's probably going to be continuously running on MT Framework, which yeah. it is. And MT Framework is a heavily modified engine, like heavily. So yeah, there's a good chance it's not it's not a difficult engine to mod, and it's on Steam. So there you go. Oh, wow, really? that was gonna, yeah, you saw that. I could have easily have jumped <laughs> off of that. Cheap as fuck. I could have easily have jumped off of that. That was bullshit. And the thing is, for all the games that Capcom has released <laughs> that were on like console and had kind of poor netcode, the PC version of those games always ran better. Mm -hmm. The ones that weren't like rollback and stuff, like Street Fighter 4, Ultra Street Fighter 4. Like Ultra Street Fighter 4 actually runs pretty good online. It doesn't run amazing, but it's pretty good. And it's way better than the consoles. So there's a good chance that Marvel Online on PC could could I, I, perform better. I honestly don't even care really about that. I, it's just I really hope someone fixes it and makes it fun to watch again. That's what I want. Uh, I just want Marvel to be fun to watch again. Well, I mean, you're going to get a new Marvel game. <laughs> that Make may or Marvel may not be fun to watch. Yeah, you're, you're going to get a new Marvel game. A, a two-on-two with no assists. So... You get you, you might. And all I see, it's like how I did slash. If, if you hard. want, if you want to talk about Marvel and fun to watch, none of the Marvel versus Capcom fighting games are specifically fun to watch, except X Men versus Street Fighter, because Marvel One and Marvel Two are the same high tier bullshit right, everywhere. Right, right, right. But you know what? Marvel Two and Marvel One is still more fun to watch than fucking Marvel Three. Yeah, I, I mean, I would, I'd agree to disagree. I agree to disagree. There is, there is more. There can be a little bit more variety in Marvel Three, because Marvel Two is a lot but of the same stuff. You don't fucking see it. Uh, you don't see it in Marvel Two either. Like, it's the same five characters in Marvel Two. You get like the, yeah, you get, you get the a, same eight characters. There's a little characters. bit, yeah. There's a little bit more variety in Marvel Two than Three. Uh, and at least the same bullshit combos don't look as cheap as Marvel Three's spammy shit with like Morgan or Firebrand. Well, Morgan is, yeah, Morgan's her own thing. She's a special There is, There is about eight to nine super high tier characters in, in Marvel 3. There's about five or six in Marvel 2. And the team composition at very high level, we're talking like actual competitive level, Stand, stands true to that. Like, you're gonna see a lot of Psylocke Magneto, you're gonna see a lot of Storm and Captain there's Commando. Just more, there's just more variety in things to see in, in Marvel 2 than there is in 3. There's nothing on the equivalent side of, like, something like fucking Amingo. You know? Well, you're never gonna see Amingo. Right, not competitively, but you still see it, like, I mean, well, I mean, in general. Who in Marvel 3 is, is, is fun to watch 
something like a mingo with Omega Red, you know, with something. Shenko and Ghost Rider? Kooky, kooky shit. Shenko and and Ghost Rider are kooky shit. Ghost Rider, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're there, it's just that you never see them, so you forget about them. Like, they are there. There's a lot of crazy I just, I shit saw, in Marvel I saw 3. a lot more, like, fun stuff in Marvel 2 in my day than, than I ever saw. Oh, you did. Fuck yeah. that, that life's a trap. Well, that's the idea, is to get it fast. And, uh, and also, Hot Rocket Raccoon's kind of a high-tier character in Marvel 3. Like, he's, yeah, he's, he's low-tier alone, but yeah, he's high-tier. Yeah, Mingo, Shuma, and, like, Blackheart, and weird shit like that. Sun Sun. And... It was just a, visually, it was a more interesting-looking game. So, yeah, I enjoy playing two. I enjoy playing two more than three as well, but the I want them to fix three. I, want, I don't want it to be such a the such only a downloaded the game. thing that they can do to fix three is actually oh, make hits on scaling work appropriately. Right, like that's do that's it. that's the one thing that would fix that game honestly, bar none, because it prevents it prevents extremely long looping combos from taking place. Um, if they just make hit stun scaling work work correctly, because some characters like Virgil and several others have moves that ignore hit stun scaling and always do a similar amount of hit stun, and that's that's why they put that system in there so you can't just loop the same thing over and over again. But for some reason they didn't follow their own rules and pop out of shit. I, I, three was cool for a little bit, but I, I feel like more along the way it just lost the plot. Yeah, it got optimized very it, fast. I mean, really, I mean, what, what's there to argue when, when people were playing Marvel 2 all, all the time for a decade, and they were still releasing versions of the game for, for current consoles, people still going shit for it, and then, like, 3 just died within, like, three years. Well, in all honesty, Hard. in all honesty, like, in, in, in super seriousness, the, the competitive scene for Marvel 3 is still bigger than the competitive scene for Marvel 2 that ever was. Sure, but... Even right now. People just don't don't play it slash talk about it, you know, the way yeah. that Marvel 2 People definitely don't talk about it the way people talk about Marvel 2. But that's the same thing for all things that are old. Everyone will, everyone will talk about Marvel. Yeah, things. but Marvel like Marvel 2 never really lost its 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 luster, like never lost its spark. It's true. Where Marvel 3 just it died immediately. Well, there was a point at Evo where a lot of people didn't like watching Marvel because it was the same shit over. Yeah, and like it won Mar Marvel 2. Oh, well, yeah. There was there was a point at Evo, I remember this one, oh, Marvel's on, it's just the same shit again and again and again. And everyone would just wait for Third Strike. Yeah. Wow, the Geiger or some shit? looks cool looking. Bosses are neat looking. How you doing, pretty good? <laughs> this guy's pattern is basic as fuck. fuck. Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna spit out some things now. Look at this. Yeah, oh, look at this. I did it again. Oh, God! Oh, here we go. Cool, just don't get trapped. I mean, the saddest thing about Marvel 2 is that Marvel 2 isn't, like, available anymore. Yeah. You can't buy it, which sucks. I love this sword, though. Like, the upgraded one? Yeah, that's pretty dope. Hi! Ha ha ha! It's been a long time, with you Hayabusa. So he was the guy from the first one that double crossed you. Remember, guys? Yeah. You're Foster. That's yeah. a good point. There, there is a thing about Marvel Two which I like the most that's, that's similar to Guilty Gear is that converting something in Marvel Two, like getting the conversion, is all that game. Mm. Like landing some random hit and turning it into huge damage. That's yeah. that's like a huge part of that game, and it's situational awareness. That's there in Marvel Three, but it feels more pre-canned in Marvel Three. I don't know what you're talking about. He says that same line in part one. Heard that you killed Irene. Drawing? It looks like the. I don't know what that is, Blue Noises, but it's probably not what you think it is. It's just one whole robe. Did I see Moment 37 live at Evo? No, that was a few years before I started going to Evo. That was like 2004? I started going around 6, 2007. Wins Kingdom Hearts Simmons! Never! Yeah! Fuck! Fuck! Come on, Simmons. What? Let's play Dream Dot Sequence 2.8. Do I know about MSP Sandrax on Marvel? Well, yeah. 
I mean, that's those are the scenes you saw all the time. Yeah. Do you even remember anything about that game? Marvel 2? Yeah. You drop just oh, yeah. I'm jumping, you son of a bitch! That's fine. Does it like. Is it. Are the worlds locked to characters, or does each character go to each world? How's it, how's it work? Your character is free to run, run around the world. It's just the only thing about Three Dot Sequence is it goes from character to character, from Riku to Sora. Oh, okay. So, like. They're, they're like you don't have to it pushes control. you off. I like how you kill the yeah, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, it fucking so comes out. You're Sora. It and actually pushes you off. I thought that was pretty sexy. Timer almost and it goes off. Right. So you're about to fall asleep. Fuck that. I'm not losing this part yet. Yeah. So it's like it's like a parallel, like two different times. Um, they're Are in they the same in... world, but they're not. Oh. Type of thing. The one thing I can give Marvel 3, um, I have never found a fighting game that you can literally play forever in training mode. Like. It's, it is, any time I played Marvel 3, all the way up until the time I was, like, not really playing it even casually anymore, there was always something crazy and different and new I found in training mode. Like, that's, that is a brilliant thing about that game. It, it, and other characters might, just might do shit better and, and ha do more damage, but Marvel 3, Marvel 3's combo options are really smart. Yeah. The problem is, is that some characters just do it way easier and better and for more damage, so it's not viable to use the more difficult shit. But you'll come across some people that do do that stuff, and it's just a it's just a joy to look at. Nice. Max is wondering. Thank you, dude. Uh, I went to I went to college for several things. Uh, he says, "Did you go to school for anything? Or did you self teach myself? All the stuff I do in video, I self taught. But I actually went to school for graphic arts." Um, for four and a half, five, six years, something like that. Variety of schools. Six years, five years. Six years, five years. I'm pushing buttons and nothing comes out. I love it. I was love I disappointed it. that Colleen was the next Street Fighter V character? Well, we all knew it was going to happen, and yes, but then I saw her gameplay. You saw that shit, Steve? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, she least, actually looks pretty fun. Yeah, at least she looks interesting. I see what they're doing for season two. Yeah, make, make characters look hype and interesting, yeah, like yeah. Akuma. It's like a big apology for season one. <laughs> I, I, I kind of I kind of like the way she she yeah. looks the way she plays. I'm, I mean, I'm whatever. Okay, Braz Brazzers chick is playable. Whatever. I mean, that, <laughs> that's fine. But she's got that guilt costume. That looks pretty good. Guilt. She's got the uh, the guild costume where she's got, got the, the suit on with the oh, secretary the like, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The secretary suit. It looks cool. Ass trying to burst out of. Her. But it's funny because the character that Guild just gives a fucking book to at ends uh, up becoming like, a, a playable, playable character, character in Street Fighter. Like yeah. what? Yeah, the I, fuck? I think uh, there there was a lot of people that were saying the same thing that are just like kind of looking for a reason to play Street Fighter Five again. Yeah. Like why the where the fuck is yeah, all these other characters? characters? You know. I mean, like, like I said in the video. Where's the guy? You gotta. I got Where's the Capcom. The guy? Capcom is pretty bold. And adding completely not playable characters that have been in Street Fighter before, but they're Fuck! gonna they're gonna piss a lot of people off. <laughs> that was awesome. I I I, I gotta. I gotta. She's an go. all new character. Guilty or what? right? Yeah. Anyway, if I was getting Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue costumes, yeah. What? That's what that is. No, let me see this. Uh, it's just a picture of just saying Guilty Gear X Blaze Blue. Oh, so there's, there's no. no there's no costumes yet. Oh eight. bullshit! So they're not even the characters, they're just... Eh. Battletoads Bet Simmons, thank you, dude. Battletoads? Ba I don't oh know. my god, he's talking about the Battletoads Bet from like three I years know, ago. I don't know what he's talking he's about. He's talking about a Battletoads Bet from 2014. I don't know what he's talking about. 2014. I remember that. Oh man, I don't, I don't know, man. Wow. Guys, I'm being sarcastic. Just, just, just say, just say you'll, you'll, you'll fulfill that thing and when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out in 2020. There. I don't get it. I mean, what's gonna come out first? Game so here's the thing. Yeah. Blazing Asian. Blazing you, Asian. What the fuck is Square gonna show off at E3? Is it gonna be Kingdom Hearts 3 or is it going to be Final Fantasy 7? Mm, what are they gonna do? No, it's gonna be Final Fantasy 12 remake. Oh my! It's like it's gonna be out by then, isn't it? No, it comes out on my birthday. Remember? Oh, it's July. It comes out literally God, on, dude, on my birthday. If Square's big game at E3 is FF12, you can suck a dick. Final Fantasy 12. It's so great, play it again. I'd rather it be Dissidia. I mean, but I don't think that's gonna happen. No. I still think that's a ways out. I the forgot, someone pointed out like what they're gonna show, and it's all literally just all this like... Little, so like just little bite-sized stuff, but it adds up. I hope, um... I only hope FF7 isn't gonna take effing forever because CyberConnect2 is also making it, and they push it It will! Out. You've got the fucking cat lord delay on, on the project. Yeah, no, that's a problem. It's a problem. They could be done. 
They could do what he asked, and then he could be like, ah, well, you know what, I want to change something, or I think we should do this instead, I've changed my mind. It's just very weird how much progress they made within six months, and were willing to show it. Yeah. And then there hasn't been anything for, like, a year now, or yeah, over a year Yeah, they showed key art. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little, that's a little concerning, that's a little concerning. See, I feel your pain, Max, because I kind of went through this with fucking Rhyme. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Where is it? It took four years. Yeah, Rhyme was first shown off on like PS4 or some shit. Yeah, 2013 was when Rhyme was first shown off. August of August 13th. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I think we'll hear something about it at E3, but I don't think it's going to be their focus. There's like a lot of like good games in the background, but they have nothing this year except for Final Fantasy XII. Year. This square, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Right. and they just released the, so they just released their Kingdom Hearts mm. uh, 2.8 near, and then they're gonna release Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 HD again on PS4 version. Then Final Fantasy 12 reboot. Re I whatever. fucking hate that shit, dude. They they love doing that. What? I know they've got other right. stuff. Mm, I don't think I'm not losing this here. Dragon Quest is gonna come out this year in Japan. Dragon, yeah, that's, that's which a big will one. float them for most of the year that probably. Is a big one. For Japan. For Japan. I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not a huge Final Fantasy fan. I played. I played a lot of them after. Dude, those Avengers games are not coming out anytime soon. No, that's like that's like that's like when the Infinity War movie comes out. Yeah, or, and, or then they just started filming that shit. Like we're talking, we're talking 2020, guys, yeah. for that of that of those Avengers yeah, games. Yeah, those Avengers games are not coming out anytime soon. They had commercial for it. They had, they had a, we're starting filming on Twitter, you saw that, right? Yeah. yeah they, they, they literally said, we're starting filming on Avengers today. And that was a couple days ago. Yeah, 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 for Infinity War. Yeah. It's Spider-Man and... Christian yeah, 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 exactly. But they're, they're just beginning, they're just beginning principle. Yeah. So they're at least, they're, they're a long fucking way out. But that's the movie. The that's, game's probably further. That's what I mean, is that it's, the game is going to probably coincide with, with the, the movie, movie yeah. in some way. So it's, you, you got to imagine that the Avengers game has probably been in development for a while. But it's still going to take a long ass time to get that thing out. It's still going to be like two or three years till you see a game or a movie. Because huh? when is when is Infinity War Part One? Is 20, 2019 or twenty twenty? Something like that. I don't know. But all I know is that those games are not coming out anytime soon. Yeah. Not this year. And it's probably not even next year. Show no. FF Seven Maven Cross Generations. No, that that makes sense to me. Because here's the thing. Even if FF Seven Remake Part One came out. Like, this year or next year, you gotta think there's gonna be about two years in between games. So that's two years for the next game, and two years for another game. We're talking, like, we're going into, like, 2021 by the time the next game comes out, and of course there could be new hardware by that time. Yeah. Like, we're already, we're already four years in, almost. Or, we're just past... 2013. No, yeah, we're, we're ju we just passed three years, and we'll be four years at the end of this year into this console generation. So, of course they're gonna span console generations. Like, I think that absolutely could happen. And they'll probably re-release the games on the new consoles and stuff. Yeah. Because it's pretty obvious that Sony's trying to keep up and Microsoft is trying to keep up with this shit by releasing the Pro and the Scorpio. Because obviously graphics need to get better faster. Like, games games need better performance because... Fuck, dude. They're not <laughs> looking that much better, though. I mean, they are, not really. but... I think this, well, the PS4 Pro is obvious that it's not a huge upgrade. The jump from PS1 to PS2 is nowhere near. No, no, no. The past pronounced, and then the, the past, jump from PS2 to 3 is nowhere near pronounced. The past, the past year, the, the industry is now the 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 epitome of diminishing returns, uh, and that is that is very true with video games now. Very true. And that's fine. It's just that graphics can't get much better. It's art that gets better. Yeah. Can you say that about old games though? Not so really. I mean, better, and then all of a sudden it got really crazy. And in, in the past, like ten years, like even, like, especially the past like five years, like games. All you have to do is think about, like, Tekken One to Tekken Tag Tournament on PS2, and how big of a graphical leap that was. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then you think about like Tekken Tag Tournament to like Tekken Six, and that was a pretty big leap there too. And then you think about Tekken Six to Tekken Seven, nowhere near that big of a leap. Yeah. It's true. No, it absolutely is true. It's diminishing returns. And Tekken 6 is like a 10-year-old game at this point. Yeah. So, the past 10 years have been an, an air, uh, just consistently diminishing returns. You just get better looking particle effects, more polys, 
and that's why that's why 4K is becoming a thing. FF15 treatment. 15 treatment. Thank you, dude. Uh, is because you can only fit so many in those goddamn things. So much shit happening in those pixels. And yeah, Tekken 7 does look better than Tekken 6, but not like by leaps and bounds. Like, not yeah. like a dick busting amount. No, I mean, they look better, but they're not mind blowing. It's, oh, it's Jesus Christ. You, you have to change the art style in some way. Like you have to you have to dramatically change the way the game looks, which is why things like Injustice 2 is kind of smart, because Injustice 2 looks a lot better than Injustice 1. Like a lot. Because they changed the art style dramatically. Off. Oh. Well, the other one, I guess. Yeah, the other one. Jeez, this guy's ridiculous. I'm beating him. Shit. Just, yeah, just hammer it out. Yeah, you have enough life. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. And then you get games like Guilty Gear, which the idea is to make it's it look like the older stuff, stuff, but yeah. to do cool new things with it. I mean, that's that's art. Like, that's... Who are you, Strider? Evil Ryu! Oh! So, you're my original. Wait, he's actually a clone of him? Yep. Oh. That's... Steve loves this character. <laughs> Look at they're fighting Steve! Yeah, yeah. I know. This oh, is yeah. amazing! I, I've never seen this before, I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Hokey ass shit is this. Evil. Wee, 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 wee. I'll get you! Oh, the chopping in the sky! Going and of course down. the good ones. Oh, well, I have that. Evil you. Oh no. Bad guy won. <laughs> Steve, did you skip? You're nothing nope. but talk, aren't you? That just happened. Look at that. You. you. Ah, 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 ah. I don't just look like you. I've also acquired all of your strengths. Yeah. Don't be that shit. <laughs> I want a taco. This is serious, guys. Stop making fun of this. You're actually really good at these games. It's kind of crazy. These games are hard as fuck, too. Yeah. You're old games. <laughs> Dude, Steve. Were you, was it you or Kenny that was here when Simmons? It's called I Never Played the Games Before! Kenny. Did you, I, did you, did you see Simmons playing the crazy ass Donkey Kong mod game? Uh, no. Nah. Oh, dude. So Kenny was here when we were playing it, wow. and, um, there's this special mod of Donkey Kong, which we have playing on that thing, mm -hmm. which is super fucking hard Donkey Kong. Hmm. It's like, it's like crazy Mario, but Donkey Kong. And Simmons is raging pissed because he's like having fun, but he's also like spending an hour on a level. <laughs> it's fun, man. It's fun. It's fun to make fun of Simmons for once. <laughs> on a game that he likes. <laughs> on a game that he likes, and then go in on him. 